Before this video starts, I want you to meet the team. Allow me to take you three months back. At the start of June, I posted a special video. It was a duo run featuring myself and my dad. He's no stranger to video games, but Rust was a whole new animal. In case you haven't watched it yet, I won't spoil anything for you, but long story short, the goal of this video was to show him the ropes and teach him the basics. Everything my dad learned in that run prepared him for what you're going to see in this video. So if you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend it. It's honestly one of my favorite videos on this channel. I had a 60,000 like goal for my dad to be featured again, and you guys more than doubled it. So here we are. Fast forward four weeks to my latest Rust movie, Face the Music. In this video, I was joined by Spoon Kid. And before you guys get confused, Spoon Kid is not the farmer as written in this title. The farmer was actually someone me and Spoon met in game. His name was the Penske File. As a solo farmer, Penske built a safe haven for himself and friends alike. He named it Lighthouse Farms. It was an elaborate, multi-functioning farm built near a lighthouse. What he grew consisted of cloth, food, and berries for teas. He was a jack of all trades when it came to farming. But what separated Penske from everyone else was his hospitality. He did things like offer free food and let us hang around without even knowing us. We quickly became allies and even worked together to take down an oppressive clan. Once again, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil anything. But pretty much everybody who watched Face the Music was commenting about how they wanted to see more of him. And since then, you can't go through a single video comment section without seeing Penske's name everywhere. So guys, your voice has been heard. This is my team for the wipe. The two most frequently suggested people on the channel. We may not be the A team, more like the Three Stooges, but our goal wasn't to take over the server like it usually is. Our main and only mission was to recreate Lighthouse Farms. Will we succeed? Well, now that you're caught up, let's finally dive into the story and find out. Welcome to Rust. Today I am trioing with my dad and Penske. <laughs> this has got to be the Avengers Endgame of my channel because the most highly requested people to be featured on this channel again has been my dad and the Penske file, aka Penske. So yeah, Penske is a intense farmer and he builds really awesome farms, and uh, I'm really excited to learn his ways. Penske and Papa Prince and Blueprint Trio. This should be absolutely amazing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys. And they're killing me. Yeah, dude, it's fun. I love it. I love fighting naked, dude. Killing naked is my favorite, dude. I always set up these trap bases to lure nakeds in, and they die, dude. It's really cool. I can show you guys some cool trap bases. What the hell? That's kind of weird, bro. Why? You just enjoy killing nakeds? That's a little bit psycho. What? No, check this out. Listen, when we built uh, the farm last wipe... So right off the bat, I remembered one of Penske's most notable personality traits storytelling. Before I even got to properly say hi, Penske made sure to tell us all about his previous wipe. We had this whole front, dude, of like we had this couch out front and like these chairs. There was this thing where my team, because there was only like me and like two other guys, where we only would use melee weapons and we, we would line up all the nakeds in a single pile line, dude, and then we all get chainsaws, dude. What the fuck? And then we would collect their skulls. Dude, we had a giant large box full of skulls. And like some of them would be like really smart and they would get like guns and- Cause they had all these spotlights everywhere, right? I had like 12 spotlights. And then I had a giant shop. You know, I built a shop outside of the farm. Stone and metal frags nice, or- Nice, man, nice. Well, hey. Pike ball. We are finally here. This is it, dude. We we did it. We're, we're here, we're playing. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited. This is gonna be the greatest crossover in history. 
Yeah, dude. I don't know what you guys want to do. I'm really just I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. Like, yeah, we totally you know, need to location. decide on like a uh, a lighthouse for sure. We need to find a. You want to build my lighthouse? Uh, of course, dude. Oh my God, Penske. I, I already see it, dude. There's a lighthouse with a small oil rig right next to it, a fishing village to the left, and an underwater lab right above it. Yeah. That that's got that's got to be it. That's perfect, right? Where, where, where's that? Top right of the map. You see that, Dan? Oh, next to the village, fishing village. Yeah. I'm actually not too far from there. I'm actually really looking forward to this, dude. We can get a green card from supermarket, then blue from harbor, and then red from airfield. Can we just get green card at lighthouse? And then there's that too. Yeah. Oh my god, there's no way I just killed this guy. I just killed him with a torch and he had a spear, dude. I can't believe it. <laughs> What's your cords at? Where are you guys at? I'm at the uh, abandoned supermarket that I was talking about. Okay. okay. Oh, never mind. I'm dead to a crossbow. What if I got us a car? Yeah, dude, we should definitely try and get a car. That's why I want to do like that bridge all the way across. It'd be cool to like drive across that. Oh wait, I need to be keeping these seeds. I keep instantly planting them. Yeah, yeah, you gotta keep them. I need seeds, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh yeah, tons of food. We're chilling. Keeping these worms, we need it for bait. Yes, sir. Dude, I like to eat them and puke on people. You like doing really weird things, Penske. <laughs> You're starting to terrify me here. Oh my god, that hurts! I'm getting killed by a bear. Yep. Yo, I'm back. I'm at the uh, fishing village. Where are you guys at? I'm trying to kill a bear right now. I'm desperately trying to kill it, but every time I shoot it, it runs 400 feet. I can see you guys. Right oh my god, the there's someone here. There's someone chasing me. He's got a hatchet. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my god, I got a horse. Literally saved my yeah, life. A horse. I can see it, dude. I'm watching this as a silhouette on the hillside. <laughs> I'm watching this unfold from the village. I was 20 health from this bear, and then I see this guy fucking following me. So wait, you killed the bear? No, I didn't. Wait, I did. I accidentally just killed it. I heard my hit marker hit something in the back, and I literally accidentally killed him. I guess I'm gonna go. Wait, wait, wait! Is this you here? Yeah, I'm on the I'm horse. Gather. I'm gonna add you to team before you do anything. Oh, cool. Yeah. F finally. Hello, Saruman the Whites. My dad decided to meet Penske and I at our build location after I got him in the team. Once Penske arrived, we headed over to start work on Lighthouse Farms. Made it to the fishing village, yeah. Radagast. What do you want me to start with? A two by one Penske? Two yeah, by two? What are, you, what, are you, uh, what are you looking two at? Two by two is good. How much wood do you have? Enough. Dude, you build so fast. What can I say, dude? I'm just a, I'm a pro. There's some wood there. Hey, Penske, can you take my dad to Lighthouse and uh, recycle this? Yeah, I'll recycle what I have, too. We need that oh, for yeah. a code lock. I don't know if a lot of players are going to be out here. If the population is only 40, oh, there shouldn't right be too much 40. traffic. It's going to be much higher soon. I can guarantee really? that. Really? Yeah. Usually when I play on like days like this on other servers, they're like 500 plus. Well, yeah, that's Restoria for you. But that's the, exactly why I didn't want to play it. It's because my dad is really new and, you know, I, I we're going to get swamped. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of time out here. some progression going. I mean, it's there's nothing worse than just getting ganked. Yeah. I mean, that's part of Rust, but at the same time, you like, it's impossible to learn the game when you're, that's constantly happening, so. If it wasn't obvious already, this video was recorded at Force White. Penske usually plays servers like Restoria, but this time around, I had us join US West Face Punch 1. Why, you ask? 
Well, no offense, dad, but your team is only as strong as your weakest link. My dad only has about 50 hours, so I didn't want to throw him into an action-packed, adrenaline-pumping environment like Restoria. So we opted for something a bit slower for all of our sakes. Besides, the plan wasn't to PvP anyways. It was to rebuild Lighthouse Farms. There you go. Alright. I can go get us some more wood if you need. Uh... Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, okay, you wanna hop on the horse real quick? We need only... Uh, I, I'll go. Uh, we only need one tree. That's literally it. Uh, the this, this place is kind of bare on resources, though. Although resources were scarce in our immediate area, there was no shortage of animals. We were stockpiling quite a lot of raw meats, so I decided to try out some normal father-son bonding. So I went fishing with my dad. Okay, so fishing is actually pretty hard. Did it go down? Yeah. Okay, so now reel it in. It looks like that's a tarp or something. Yeah, there you go. Skull. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let me watch. So I'm you. casting it out. Yeah. It went down. You see how it's going left? Now I have to yeah. hold D and A. So I'm reeling it in, and I'm also holding D to get it in the center. So if it's going to the left, D to drag it to the root. Exactly. That. There you go. Gotcha. But make sure that you're listening for the crack sound. If you hear your fishing rod starting to crack, your line is going to snap. Oh, I got a yellow perch. I haven't gotten one of these nice. yet. Oh, God, that's terrible. I'm going to use that as bait. Five yellow perch. I'm not fishing for that shit. Are you kidding me? I got a herring. Nice. Nice. Good job. Okay, I think I'll get a catfish if I do this successfully. Yep, got a catfish. Let's go. Two catfish is 50 scrap, Dad. Oh, shit! I don't understand why people are so such fucking dickheads. Do you guys get killed? Well, no, it's just some kid with a rock that just came and bashed my dad's skull in. Get him. <laughs> what a jerk. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Well, I'm, I'm friendly. Excuse me. Do you have anything that I could possibly use? I, I just... Dude, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? You, you don't so... sneak up on people when it's dark like this. Scared piss out of me. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, oh, he's having a good time. Go back to fishing. Enjoy your day. Yeah, how about I go back to fishing? Fuck off! Whoa! <laughs> cool! We took what little fish we caught and sold them at the fishing village to buy a boat and some diving equipment. Then we took to the sea to dive for some underwater loot. Oh, there's a shark down here. <gasps> Big shark! Oh my god. This is scary, dude. I don't like this. I don't know if you knew this, Dad, but they added sharks to the game, and they're fucking massive. They're like bears, but in water. Do they hurt that bad? Yeah, dude. They kill you in like three hits. Oh god! Oh god, does it see me? It sees me. Kill ah! together. Oh my god! I don't like this. It hit me. Dude, I hit, I'm coming. I, I hit it as well, though. I fucked it up. It's coming for you, it's coming for you. Bring it. Yeah, stabbed nice. it. Did it get you? It's gonna kill me though. It's coming for you, it's coming for you! I'm swimming! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, I'm back up. I'm up. Oh, I'm, I'm going for this bitch. So this was my first time fighting a shark. And in hindsight, I probably should have just avoided it. Hit it again! How is it alive? Swim back, swim back. I can't if it comes for me, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm down. Oh, did you get it? No, I'm fucking dead. Oh, there it is. Well, I'm not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of those ever again, man. Learned your lesson. Yep. Once when I got my body back, it was back to diving. Oh, man, there's another shark, bro. Where? Oh, On no. me. There's three crates. Oh, this is worth it, man. I, I'm going for this. No, it's coming. I gotta back off. As long as you, like, stay behind it and, like, decently far away, you should be fine. Wait, you died again? It said killed by simple shark. There's simple shark? Well, that's what it is. It's a simple shark, yeah. In your dreams, it's a simple shark. 
Motherfucking thing is Usain Bolt when it wants to eat you. We we probably should just depot, huh? I mean, we got a lot, and then now that you're dead, we can't really... You're kind of far away to pick up. Yeah, dude. Oh, we need to grab that. This boat right ahead. I'm going to give you some fuel, and we'll take this home too. Okay, dad? There's another good crate here. I'm grabbing this real quick. Ooh, wooden uh, gate, Penske. Nice, bro. That's huge for like boats. Well, that was a pretty good run. After that farm run, we made several strides towards progression. Once when I fixed up the base a little bit, Penske and I recycled all of the components we got from the depths. We realized that components weren't going to be an issue, especially if we started utilizing oil rig and even the underwater labs. We needed to start work on getting key cards before we could do either of those. But first we needed to find a place for oars and wood. We took one of our boats to the neighboring island and luckily found a decent amount of both resources. I immediately took the resources we farmed and put them towards a boat base. With that high external wooden gate I found, we could fit multiple boats in the design I slapped down. Since we were living on the water, I definitely felt like it was a worthwhile investment. I can't I can't place a wall here or anything. It's because of this it's because of the gate. I'm supposed to I I was supposed to place the gate last. We can do this and then put metal barricades on later, once when we get those. The little hole there yeah we'll get metal barricades and put them on top other than that temporary hole in the ceiling i was happy with how it turned out after finishing this up we finally decided to get all of the key cards we needed we got a blue key card from our closest harbor and we were hoping that we could get a red key card from airfield take cover don't look outside do not look take outside cover? hell is coming happened? it's flying right over us ellie's coming back it is! It is? Armor off, armor off, armor off. Armor off. Weapons off. I have Yoka. Yoka out of your hot bar. Uh-oh. Hey, no, leave me alone. Why do you have your Yoka out? Get that shit out! Took it away! Took it away! Why would you shoot me? Take off your armor. Take off all your armor and take put your weapon into your inventory. Fast! Oh, you're dead. Bye. What the frick, dude? No, it's too late for you, dead. What the hell? So I lost my team to an AI. I just waited long enough for Penske to get back since he had a closer bag than my dad. And once when he did, we headed to airfield. Still trying to figure out how to do stuff fast. I mean, when you're telling me to take off my kit that fast, I just couldn't run, move, take off my kit. and just. Oh yeah, it's so hard. It's in that room. Have you done this before? No. Okay, I'll show you. Yeah, throw the fuse in here. Oh, yeah, we're in. Ooh, cool. What's this place? What is this place? This is uh, this is airfield. Airfield. It's where there's a blue room down here so we can get a red card. It's possible that it's not spawned, though. It isn't. Wow, that's really unfortunate. We have to wait? Yeah. How long do we have to wait? Well, we, we shouldn't wait because it's probably going to be like an hour until it respawns. So is there anything else in this area? Nope. This is our only red card spot. Wait. Wait. I think it just respawned, dude. I hear scientists? Yeah, scientists respawned. I think it just respawned literally just now. Perfect. Let's go down. Nice. Dead. Nice. Yes, it respawned. Oh my god. This never happens to me. I'm so blessed. Ooh, green crates. Yep. Oil rig time. Yeah. How are we going to kill the heavies? I mean, we can just bring compound bows and we'll be able to clear that easily. Heavies? Yeah. Maybe we'll get a gun from one of the scientists, hopefully. Yeah, an M2. You can't get M2s, but yeah, good thought. <laughs> So now that we had the key cards, we finally headed out to oil rig. We didn't have any weapons yet, so bows was all we had to show for it. We were hoping that this oil rig run would get us the guns we needed to start progressing further. I'm gonna tech tree uh, garage door. Perfect. So I got glass window now and everything.
You guys want to uh, do oil? Yeah. Yeah, I would love to do oil, dude. Let's go. All right, here we go. First one's here. I'm gonna pound drive it right in the head. Oh, uh, we should three, two, one it. Three, two, one it. But I think it can hit his head here. Got it. Oh, dude. You cracked him. And you got Ow. it. Yeah, his little head was just peeking up. Hit it. Hit again. You got him. You got him. Dead. Good job. All right, let's go. Let's go. Where'd you go in, dude? Oh my god, that was like yeah, a 15, 1500,000 tap, dude. Nice! <laughs> Two of them. It's dead. Nice, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I just got a supply signal out of that crate. Yeah. I'm calling it in here. Dude, that's huge. Maybe we can get an LR. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get a... Oh, no. no. What have you done? This is easy. This is not easy. All right, guys. We, we, we go down here, all right, guys? Down the second staircase, and we hold down here. This is how we do it. Oh. Get it! Oh, we're fucked now! Dead. Shot. I got a med, guys. I'm low. Hit it. Go, 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 go. I missed it. Oh, shit. Back up, back up, back up. Yep, here he comes. Nice oh, shot. Dang. I'm going to see if he has a gun. Dude. He has nothing. Literally fucking useless shit. What about the... Okay. DB, that's good enough. Yeah. We'll help him. Oh my god, I'm stuck! They're coming, boys. Come down, come down. That's right. Ah! Ah! Headshot. Oh my god, it has endless fucking bullets. I'm gonna die. I'm at 7 HP, boys. You need to defend. They're coming. They're coming! Oh shit! <laughs> Fall back! Killed one! Oh my god! Whoa! I'm going to HP. I'm going to die. It's you. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, why am I not doing damage? I'm like shooting him right in the fucking face. Damn. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you alive, dad, or dead? I did. I'm dead. Should I grab a boat and try and make it back? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it? Outside? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Grenade oh, launcher. I should have been dead, dude. I was at three health and I was like hugging one. I don't know how he didn't kill me. He's right here. It's really low. Damn it, man. These scientists kind of suck. Spaz 12 and the jackhammer. Jackhammer! That's pretty nice. The jackhammer. Dude, tilt! Make sure to turn it off before you get out, alright, Dad? Yo, right there, Dad. Thing's so annoying, dude. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, God, it's gone. Where is it going now? Dude, how did. I don't know how you messed it up that badly, dude. What happened? Guys. They capsized and threw me out. And it just left me. My dad's a Pepega, that's what happened. Pepega with the boats. I'm telling you, man, I hate those freaking things. Despite the airdrop and heavy loot being bad, the locked crate certainly made up for it. Oh yeah! my god! AK 50! C4! Wow, rock on, that's full metal insane. face, man! That's insane. Dude, rock on!
Oh my god! <laughs> you're, you're like that that asshole who like steals the parking spot, dude. After this oil rig, my plan was to recycle at sunrise. But on my way over to Lighthouse, I noticed something. Uh, there's a small boat right next to Lighthouse right now. They're going to oil, I think. No, they're geared. With yeah, weapons. uh, I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like crossbows. But yeah, they're definitely going to oil right now. We can jump them. I'm going for them right now, baby. I couldn't resist chasing them. My trigger finger was itching for some player interaction. I'm on a boat too. Oh, I'm dead. They have guns. I thought they had crossbows. I'm I'm dead. Dude, no I'm way. Oh, no, come back. I have AK. I can roll these kids. They were like halfway on their way to oil rig. They're definitely going to keep going. Shooting at us. Yeah. They're going to waste all their ammo. Here, pause here, pause here. I'm almost dead. Wow. Hop in the boat. We're getting MP5 in the back now. Oh, oh you're headshot. headshot. Oh, I'm headshot, headshot again. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. I gotta move boat. Yep. I got I it. Heal. I got. I got the seat. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're the, they're the best players in the planet. I'm 19 bleeding though. I, I got shot him. Bleeding. He's Good dead. Job. I killed one. Good job. Oh my god. They heal hurt. Up, up. Go, 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 go. Okay, one's full dead. One's full dead. We gotta kill the other guy. Yeah. We can quickly depot and go back and then, I mean, not depot, but get more meds and then run back. I mean, his teammate's not going to be able to come back. All right, Blue. Now's your time to shine. Yep. Killed one. There's one left. There's two of us. Should I park the boat close so I can so get up on the right, right here to the right. Okay, okay. Take a right. Yeah, nice, nice. Keep this trajectory. This is perfect. He's got to shoot. I just can't hit him. Keep her steady. I just such a hard shot. Yeah, light him up. Wow. Yeah. You He's dead. can't run, Ma. You're done. We'll go. We'll check the boat. His body's right in front of the boat. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh no, man. bro. What the hell? Yeah, he's loaded he, though. He's got he? Star and Tommy. Blue, why did you leave the boat? Because I was looting the body, dude. <laughs> You're the driver. What do you mean? Why is the driver leaving the boat? After getting these extra gear sets home, we decided to do an oil rig run since these two guys pretty much cleared it out for us. Other than finding another supply signal and getting another C4 from the airdrop, nothing too exciting happened and the locked crate was pretty trash. When we got home, I tech treed metal barricade and slapped a couple on our boat base. Then we headed to the underwater labs. See ya. All right, dad, so crates look a little different down here, all right? This right here is a crate. You see like the, the blue and like there's like components in it and look, there's comps in it. It's a pretty good crate, 21 high quality metal. Oh, here's the cafeteria. Look, there's a, there's a game here. Oh yeah, the cafeteria one. And you can cook food on this uh, stove. Did you guys know that? Really? Look. Yeah, look. It's a barbecue. See? Yeah. Wait, wait a second. Is it just me or does something seem a little bit off? Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to be able to use these stoves either. No, not the stoves, Penske. I'm talking about my SAR. It seems oddly realistic. Man, do I have an announcement for you. I've recently partnered up with Loot Room to bring you guys life-size, 3D-printed, hand-painted blueprint SARS. They're available on their website right now, but due to the complexity of making these, 
a very limited amount will be up for grabs. Despite this, we aren't going to leave you guys hanging. We're giving away one Blueprint SAR for free. All you guys have to do is follow some simple steps, like following me in Loot Room on Twitter, and a winner will be randomly chosen within a week. In case the Blueprint SAR doesn't particularly interest you, Loot Room also has other Rust items in their store. Using code BLUEPRINTS will secure yourself a nice discount. Anyways, that's it guys, let's get back to the video. You open the room? Yeah. Yeah, I like this room. And then there's a button you press, and a switch you activate. Ooh, it's a red card. Red card. I got it. Yeah! Cool! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, don't, don't loot card. anything. I want, I want my dad to switch. Dude, see. elite crates over here! Dude, get the elite crates, bro. Ooh. Oh, there's nothing in here. This, the elites are kind of bad. All right. Did we get everything here? I don't know. It's kind of a shitty lab. I'd rather just use my cards on oil rig, you know? Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? Should we A, go for a little roam and try and find some people? Or should we come back out here and fish until oil rig, I mean, cargo comes out again or heli? If cargo goes by and we're just keeping an eye out for it and fishing a little bit, then we can just go bomb that thing. Yeah. So cargo ship was next on our agenda. Our plan was to just sit out in the ocean and fish until it spawned in. But we didn't even have time to do that, as by the time we got home, it was out already. Penske needed as many blueprints as he could get his hands on, so running things like oil rig and cargo ship was the easiest way Honest. to do this. No a hard right, Penske. Saruman, you gotta jump on the ladder, dude. Press E to jump on the ladder, Saruman. Got it. By the way, do you need a food combiner? Yes, please. Oh, I got another python. Oh, mixing table. Let's go. Yes. Ooh, metal face mask. Grab that. Uh, crate's got 40 seconds. This one right here, dad. Cool, it's mine. Stand back. Oh, okay. Sorry. We'll, go, we'll <laughs> let you loot it and you'll give it all the luck, okay? Hey! Yes. Okay! A rocket! Oh! Rocket custom! Nice! Rocket, rocket custom! Door. Armor door! Dude, night vision! <laughs> oh, second crane unlocked. Dude, AK! Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Explosive in C4. And MP5! No way! Nice. That's insane. Dude, can I have the MP5? Sure, dude. Let's get the heck out of here, dude. That was a pretty insane cargo. Heck yeah. The best one yet. I would have liked to get this rib in the boat base, but I don't think we're going to make it. Definitely not. You want to just leave it here or something? Yeah, drive it all the way on the shore. I'm gonna turn it off. All right. Um, Who can loot the front? So is this typically how fast you get geared, Penske? No. <laughs> no, I don't get this stuff till probably like the third weekend. Like I said, that was a huge run, but upon getting back to base, I realized how easy it was to raid. Now that we were starting to fill up our boxes, I decided to add some basic honeycomb. By the time I was finished, Penske started getting jumped. Oh, we got a spacesuit guy, spacesuit guy coming our way, uh, 230, 235. I see him. I'm gonna go wreck him. He's ditching, dude. He saw us and he's fucking ditching. Him twice. For the one. It's behind that rock. Hit him once. There's a dead guy with a compound bow over here. And a python on this on this guy back here. He's dead. God, my spray is awful. Boat! Full boat! Full boat! 330. They all just landed here. They're coming! We going back or are we fighting? We're fighting. I don't need ammo. One dead. AK dead, AK dead. Another it's down. just SAR, it's just SAR. I'm rushing in, I'm moving in. 
one, one HP, one. Might be down. There's two left. He hit me. I'm down. I'm dead. Full dead. I shot one. I shot another one. I'm gonna rush him with Tommy. I'm low. Dead, dead, dead. Good job. I got him. So slow. Need help. You gotta help looting. I got, I got, the, I got the AK. Only I got the, the good AK. stuff. Oh, they have hollow. No way. These are the same guys from before that we killed when they tried to go to oil. I'm pretty sure. He's down. He's dead. Killed him. Nice. Oh my god, I was not expecting another AK guy. Where the fuck did these guys come from? Good job, everybody. Good job. Blueprint, you kicked their ass again, dude. Yeah, that's GG. I gotta build the horse stable. I have a bunch of wood on me to build it. Oh yeah, this will do the job nicely, Penske. It was getting late in the day. Before we all hopped off for the nights, I used up all of our scrap by making a tier 3 workbench and researching rocket as well as explosive. I also added an external TC, so if we got offline raided, they couldn't grief us. I had a feeling we'd be okay though. We had a fully armored core and armored doors. Nobody's going to raid this on day one. Huzzah! Day two. And we aren't offline raided. I think. Oh wow. Has Penske been doing some farming? Oh! Damn, we got a car garage now? Is that what that is? We have cars? While I was gone, it seemed like Penske was busy with a few things. Oh my god! How many horses do we have? Yesterday was all about the startup. Today, we were going to build the farm. So I threw down a layout for Penske to approve. Okay, I was gonna lay down the foundations for what I was thinking of. What to do with Penske on the farm. Let's see here. I think this would look sick. Actually, we should do the same thing on this side. Just to match it up. We can put the water pumps here, and if they don't fit, then we can always put an oil refinery there, which would be perfect. I should probably hop in a call with him. Dude, what's up? Hey. Yeah, I just wanted to hop in a Discord call with you. I figured that makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. But dude, I just I just laid down, the, laid down the foundations for the what I think the farm should look like, and I'm not going to upgrade it or anything until you give it the okay, but I think this is really nice. Dude, I had an idea for a layout, but I mean, mine was just like... I was wanting to make it like three levels high. I don't know. Do you just make yeah, it? Yeah, no, that, that's what I'm thinking too. And so I was going to put an elevator in the center of it to access oh. each level. And uh, yeah, it was going to be a uh, five by three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, dude. I mean, we still could put an elevator in here. Yeah, like I, what I was thinking is just like, this is the jump up right here. And then over here in this corner is where you would put your water stuff. Is this water deep enough for a water pump though? I don't know. I, you're the judge of that. I was thinking about building a silo, a giant, I don't know, probably five-story tower. Uh -huh. And dude, I was planning on doing the water in that, possibly. Interesting. So the water would go, the whole watering system would be inside the silo, and then from the silo, it would pump it into the main farm. And this will be the elevator to go up to the next floor. Dude, this farm design is unique. I've never built this design before. And dude, our upkeep's gonna be insane. Right now, it's actually not bad at all. It's like 700 metal frags, 50 high, okay. high quality metal. It's 50 high qual? Yeah. Dude, that's a lot. It's not bad. We have like I 400 right now. We have like 400. Um, This is perfect, by the way. You did a good job. Okay. And, and can you um, place water pumps here? If you can, that would be awesome. Let me see real quick. If we can, that's the perfect spot. Pretty shallow, it looks like. Yeah, it is. It's red. Here. Check. Frick. But, dude, blueprint. We can build a silo and have a separate TC in the silo and have all the pumps, purifiers. Yeah, that that's that's cool because we can just put a refinery in this spot. It's, it's no big deal, you know? Oh, shit. Dude, <laughs> Pretty yeah. sick, right? <laughs> yeah, that's badass. That, I need that right there. <laughs> Penske seemed to have a solid idea of how he wanted to lay out his farm. So I mostly let him do his thing, putting some of my input in his designs here and there. There we go. That's a little bit cheaper. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. This place was going to be amazing. 
Once Penske was in the roleplay zone, there was no getting him out of it. So luckily my dad hopped on and together we went to go take oil rig. Yeah, you gotta tell us what you think of the farm, man. I was on earlier. I haven't seen the farm yet. This is an oil refinery and this, uh, you're able to squeeze it into the corner here. Oh, sweet. That's, that's actually excellent. I had, there was a bunch of crude oil that we'd accumulated. Sound like a guy giving out a tour already, dude. I like it. Oh, shit. Okay, they're all dead. Damn, <laughs> oh dude. My God. Make sure to turn it off before you exit it. All right, well, I'm going to start fishing. Probably the easiest thing to do would just be jump down, huh? Or just run down. There's a boat coming, boat coming! Oh, no. All dead, all three dead. Are you I, just, I just I just doubled all three. Literally I doubled them all. No way. Oh, it's a ladder. Dude. My dad's trying to find a ladder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, they have MP5s. They were ready to yeah, count. This guy had a bolty! No way! Dude. With an 8X on it. Okay, I'm gonna put some uh components in um in your boat, Dad. Do you want me to just haul it ass back or what do you want me to do? Okay, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let me drop you some stuff. Take everything I just gave you and everything in this front pouch and go depot it in the boat base. I only got one MP5. There's like two MP5s in the ocean that I need to I need to look for. Yeah. When my dad got back from his quick depot, he brought back a diving tank along with him. I used it to dive down to try and find the dropped guns. I hate looking for guns, dude. In the water it's just so annoying Did they... oh i got one i got a balloon coming I got in another balloon one. coming in balloon okay i got, I got them both okay i'm coming oh i see it let's get up top it's really slow we can make it one of these are the same guys someone just Kill two. there's two below us with uh tommies and uh diving sets you know what? That that hot air balloon dropped them off, Navy SEAL style. Yep. I'll loot him in a sec, but let's loot this crate real quick. I'm gonna have to go diving again, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Penske, large battery! Oh, yeah! Oh my god. It's the same guys, and they brought so much meds. Someone else is here? Dead? It was the last guy. Uh... Can I drop you a few things, Dad? And you can do that depot run again. I got MP5. Whoever these guys are, Penske, they're loaded. I got a Thompson off the ground. Yeah, he dropped all of his stuff on the ground, this guy that I killed. Oh, I found the MP5. Sweet. Yeah, Penske, we just got absolutely loaded. I heard. I've been hearing. Like, jeez, dude. I was, I did nothing as usual. I turned around, and he's like, "Got them all, all three, dead." <laughs> all dead, 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 dead. All dead, 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 dead. dead. <laughs> that was easily the most PvP and possibly even profit we've gotten from a single run. But while we were gone, Penske was busy too. Nice, dude. This is looking sick. He built a huge silo next door, which he mentioned was for the water. What are you gonna put in here? <laughs> Holy crap. And he was just about finished with a bridge leading all the way to Lighthouse. I decided to spend about an hour of my time contributing to the cause by farming for a bit and adding a couple of upgrades. Furnace bases, base upgrades, and bridge improvements. It was after all of this that cargo was out again. Penske couldn't continue building without some BPs, like elevator or wind turbine. And I was still looking for a rocket launcher so he could possibly do some raiding. So with these items on our shopping list, we headed out. You need an XOR switch. I think we have one.
I started the crate down on the bottom floor. Okay. Uh, one of the crates is on the very, very top. Boat coming in, boat coming in, boat coming in. Left side, right side? Right side, from the from the island. You want me to get my uh, get a boat? There's nothing you can do, we're too far. No, I see him, you want me to shoot him? No, I wanted to wait for them to go up the ladder. They're both dead. I'm just gonna jump in, you stay here, okay? Okay. I kind of wanted to let them go on so we could like fight them a little bit. You want me to get elevator. a boat? Come. What was that, Penske? Got an elevator, dude. Oh, nice. Oh man, this guy didn't have his gun out. Oh no. Oh no. While jumping into the rib, I missed it and just went straight into the fucking water. It's okay, I still have this small boat right here, luckily. Mini coming in, Tensky. I can't help. I'm in the water. Ooh, don't say that. Mini copter coming in right now. Oh, I do jump off. No, no, no. Just stay there and hold. Oh. Yeah, both of them are on the top top. Wow, that is so, so, so unlucky that I fell in the water. What do I do? What if they kill me and take the elevator? Well, then I'll kill them. You're coming back? Yeah, I'm coming back. There's a boat right here. Yeah, I hear him walking. Oh, there he is. Hit him twice. Oh no, I'm down. Fuck, I'm, came I'm up behind me. I'm on the boat. One dead. Oh. I have a heavy metal helmet on though, so they have to headshot me 75 times to kill me. I see him. Dead. You killed him? Yeah, he's oh. dead. They're both dead. Good job, Blue! Woof. Dude, you have the elevator? Um, it's probably somewhere around here. Yeah, okay. uh... They probably tossed it. I heard them throwing down stuff. Yeah, they probably did. I don't, they're, it's not on <laughs> either of their bodies. Uh, I see your body. I got the elevator. Yeah! Elevator! They left it. Oh, uh, the crate was an AK, a Bolty, and a Tommy. That was a close call, and one of the rewards was an elevator. I couldn't wait to see this in action, but first, a botany lesson with Penske. You can crossbreed these genetics and to your favor, so I could crossbreed these all to greens. And the main green genetics that I want are the Ys and the Gs. The Ys stand for the yield, and the Gs stand for the growth rate. Now the H just stands for hardiness, so basically like how well the plant survives outside. And then X is just empty, it's null, it's nothing. And W stands for water rate, so how much water the plant takes in. So what is the ideal plant, like G's and all green Why? or something? Or G's and Y's all green? The On the servers that I play, everybody goes for three G's and three Y's. I personally, for hemp, like to use four Y's and two G's. Dude, you get 80 cloth per plant if they're grown 100%. Wow. Well, on the yeah. servers I play, it's always THC YY. Okay, Dad. Yo, take this, Penske. I think you'll enjoy that. Yeah! Elevator, dude! We can break these things and put them in. Yay! They're so ugly. I can't wait. All right, let's check this out. So do you know that if you hold E on the switch to the elevator, you can rise it all the way to the top? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, I totally know. <laughs> so cool. Press the button. Lighthouse Farms was really coming together. In just two days, we created our very own kingdom.
Go, 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 go. They're coming back with guns, bro. Yeah, uh, blueprint. There's like four of them coming back with guns. What kind of guns? Like semi and stuff. All right. Coming back. I'm not over there. There's like four of them, bro. Yeah, I'll fucking wipe you these guys, You want me to come dude. help you? I see them. I gotta come help you. I have to. I'm coming. I shot one. Coming in hot. They're running. I shot one dead. Oh, we're getting really? pushed. Hard pushed. There's a lot. Ooh, what, did, what can of worms did we open, boys? One dead, one dead. One dead. Another dead. Good job. Another one dead. Healing. Healing. Yo, Pensky, can you come loot this, dude? There's a full metal, I mean, full roots guy here. Got my horse. Riding up on you on a horse. I see him. Healing. Headshot dead. After wiping this four man, we heard heli. At first we figured we couldn't take it down without a heli tower, but then we remembered that Lighthouse Farms comes with a complimentary heli tower on its own. I see it. Hold on, I gotta try and tag it here. Hit it! Oh my God, that's a shot of lifetime. All right, later, Levensky, adios, you're staying here. Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh, Jesus! God. Pensky, if it rockets you, our whole base is going away, by the way. So. It's a silo! Going down! No, I ran out of ammo! We Dude. got it! Going down? Yes. It's in water. All right, Going come on. in. Come on, Dad. Follow me. That was fun. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, it was mostly pretty bad. Two attachment crates and a pistol ammo crate, but we got rocket C4. Woo! Rocket! Okay. Getting a Rocket C4 crate here really got me thinking about doing a raid. But like I mentioned earlier, we still needed to find a rocket launcher. We noticed that cargo ship was out again, so we figured that even if we didn't find a rocket launcher, we could recycle all of the components we'd get from cargo to tech tree it. So that's what we went to go do. Let's go. Let's do it. There's people on it. Maybe you should let me drive, Dad, because there's people on it, and I can right. I can get you guys there. Wait, Damn what the both. fuck? We're stuck on a sandbar. What are the odds of that? They got AK. Oh yeah, my. LR, yeah, I want the LR. We're gonna get rolled, but who cares, baby? I'm hit. Hit. Gotta heal. We hopping on? We're oh, Penske's on. on. Penske, you got. You need to run. You need to run, Penske. Go I all the way broke. down into the into the bottom, bro. We're got, we gotta readjust, and I got a med too. Dad, I'm I'm willing to to leave you and get on. I feel like the highest chance of us winning this fight is if I get on. Yeah, I agree. Penske, they have no idea you're on there, bro. They have no idea. It. One dead. Hold in. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm floating. What the fuck? I'm dead because of a glitch. I'm gonna come back. I, I full killed one though. I just got killed. AK. Yep. Guys, I'm gonna kill him. All right. Take your time, Penske. I'm gonna be coming back really soon. They—they're leaving on the rib. 
Or are they? I, I don't- I can't tell. Or no, I think one of them just jumped in to get your body, dad. And now they're going back to cargo. This team thought that my dad and I were all there was. So one of them jumped into the water to loot my dad's body. So he had no idea that there is a surprise on board waiting for him. Penske, kill that guy. Nice! Penske, you're a Chad. You're a Chad. Who is this Chad? Surprise! Thanks for the LR. Are they loaded? Dude, I got his LR. Nice. I'm right here looting with you. Yes, take it all. I just want the OR. Dude. Did you like that? Dude, I stuck up and got him, dude. Dude, you fucking rolled him, dude. Good shit. Dude, he had no idea you barded so long ago. That was the long play, bro. Yep. Last crate's down here right now. Is it looted? It isn't. Rocket L9. L96, bro. Yeah, L96. So once again, another successful cargo ship run with an insane Penske clutch. We didn't get a rocket launcher, so as planned, we recycled a ton of components and ended up with over 2,000 scrap. It was plenty to tech tree down to rocket launcher with some scrap to spare. It was also just barely enough to start the tier 3 tech tree for explosive ammo. However, I didn't feel like spending over 600 scrap for one blueprint. That's when I found a shop on the map. Funny enough, at the Western Lighthouse. They were selling an explosive bullet for only 200 sulfur, and unfortunately, it wasn't accessible by drone. Either way, I figured it was worth the run if we were going to save so much scrap. So I gathered what I needed, and I began my journey. Okay, their base is so much smaller than ours, dude. I thought it was gonna be like a huge fucking lighthouse farms, <laughs> but it's like, Literally a two by two that's like five stories tall and it was meant to be a drone shop, but then they like built a shooting floor over it. So it's not. Hello, I'm just here to buy from your shop. Oh God, the shop owner is following me right now, dude. Hi, I just bought from your shop. Wait, why are you killing me? With explosive bullet research, raiding instantly unlocked. And you know what else happened instantly? I found a raid target. This dude literally watched me buy from his shop, but he chased me down and mag dumped me anyways. Even though I didn't lose anything, it was the principle of that interaction that pissed me off. So I turned all of our sulfur we've been farming for the wipe into rockets and we got ready. He seemed like as good a target as any, and we couldn't just stand by while some other lighthouse shop took our business. Alright, we should go now before it gets too dark. Uh, we should get some healing. You guys have extra healing? I got tons yeah, of meds. Of okay, I only have two syringes. But my inventory is full. Oh shit. Can you drop- Dad, can you pick up- uh, What can you drop to him that you don't need to build, Penske? Ammo, 556. Five, well, you need the ammo for yourself, no? I have two, I have four stacks. Oh my, what? What, is that too much? Yeah, that's too much. I suck with the AK, I can't aim with it. Bring a stack. That's it? Yes. Well, uh, what do you think I you're gonna like do? It, I feel like it syringe. takes a stack for me to your, hit Your them. gun's gonna break before you shoot that much ammo, bro. <laughs> well, some was for my second kit. Second kit? We're overthinking Take this, it. let's go fucking do it. You closed all the garage doors, dad, and everything? Yes. All right, cool. I did. Now you're gonna make me double check. Fuck. I know I did, but I'm gonna check again. Dad, there's an single one close. <laughs> no. Come back, where are you oh, going? Garage. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is gonna go well, guys. Don't worry, we're fine. This is right. too easy. I think we did a good job, guys. I was losing my mind, dude. I need seeds, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my favorite. All right. Um, here we are. Uh, this is perfect. You see this rock right here, Penske? We're gonna build yeah. it right behind this. 
Yeah, perfect. So they can't snipe us, yeah. Two by two. Upgrade all the stuff? Yeah, get it all. Get it all upgraded. Alright, I think we're ready, guys. Let's head out. So here's the plan, okay, guys? So we're gonna roll up. I'm gonna blow above that sheet metal wall, uh, the the four walls, and also yeah. the ceilings above that single, the first floor, floor honeycomb. I'm also gonna smoke out the roof so they can't peek down and shoot us. Um, but they might be able to see through it. So just don't completely, you know, null out that they can't see us from up top. All right. So keep an eye out above you, and uh, but most importantly, watch the left and the right side of the base. Penske on the left, my dad on the right. And if you want that, you can hold up this big rock. Okay. I don't see any movement. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the plan. Nice. We got guys at 290, coming up the hill. 290, 290. No way. Behind us? Oh, they have bows? No, 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 it's okay. I got it. Okay, I just heard him in here. Okay, I see the core. He dropped down on me, guys! I know, he just dropped down on me. Hit him twice. He's down. I'm gonna respawn. Just just hold and make sure he doesn't reseal. Like, Pensy, go up on that ladder and watch. I have to break that locker. Hey, it's clear. Am I allowed to come in or should I stay out? Uh, stay out for now. I need to make a TC and reseal this. Key, these are key. Oh my god! There's a lot. I got There's a bunch lot. of I got a bunch of loot up here in this box. Am I allowed to come in yet? Uh yeah, loot everything up there real quick. There's two boxes. I got one. Oh, I could probably get into the uh uh vending machines, eh? Mm-hmm. Here, excuse me, Dad. Excuse me. No, that that that's not our door. Good job, dude. Success. A lot of useful stuff. Ooh, armor. Ooh, stone. Ooh, has he? Dude, did you guys see the gunpowder? Yeah. Shit, and there's locked boxes, precious. Yeah, well, we still don't even know what's in the locked boxes, dude. Check you out. All right, there we go. That that that's sealed right there. Let's uh, let's break these boxes. Uh, AK, couple of guns. Two C four in this bunch of comps, right here. Red card, satchels, tech trash. How do we get up into the tower? I'll show you. So this tower is like right here. I don't know if it's worth blowing up. I hear furnaces and stuff. Yeah, I wonder what's in there, dude. I'm serious, curious. You think it's worth? We, we can go up there. I mean, we spent way less rockets than I thought we had to, so we're still in profit. I. I don't know about profit, but I'll tell you I'll tell you one thing. I won't be profit if there's nothing behind these, but I do hear furnaces, so I think it's worth blowing this right here. <laughs> nothing crazy in these furnaces. It's just like 2k sulfur. See how right here there's a ladder hatch sticking through the through the floor? Yeah. That might be the case for here too. He might have left this one open as well. This would be much, much faster to pickaxe than that wall. Would you rather try and test our luck and do that? The ladder hatch? Yeah, this this right here. Well, let's give it a shot. Come on. Break. Yes, we were right. Nice. It's so sexy. Oh, you left the doors open. There's literally nothing. Yeah, thank God we didn't use rockets. Although it was just a solo, an online raid is an online raid. And the loot wasn't even half bad. We gathered the best of it, got in our rib, and transferred it all back to base. It was getting late, and my dad hopped off. 
But before I got offline, I built a shop to hopefully sell a bunch of stuff overnight. It was crazy to think how much progress we made today. Tomorrow was going to be completely focused on making the farm as best as it could be. I wanted to give you guys the chance to get a tour of the new lighthouse farms yourselves, and even meet Penske. But I'm saddened to say that we woke up the next day offline raided. Like, dude, does nobody have any lives in this game? Thinking back, perhaps we played too aggressive of a game. After all, we've aggravated numerous groups throughout the wipe, all of them near our base. It wasn't out of the question that one of those groups possibly held a grudge. Or maybe it wasn't even any of the groups we fought at all. We had no leads to who could have raided us. They didn't even finish us in our sleep to leave any evidence. All our loot was gone, and Penske's farm was destroyed. Our kingdom was in ruins. But our spirits were high. Especially Penske's, surprisingly enough. In the 1500 hours Penske has played this game, he told me that he has never gotten the loot we had in such a short period of time. So maybe the goal for this video wasn't to only recreate lighthouse farms. Perhaps it was also to turn a farmer and a dad into chads. That's at least my copium. Despite that unfortunate ending, I really hope you guys enjoyed this collab. It was a lot of fun teaching and also learning Rust at the same time. It goes to show that no matter how much experience you have in a game, there's always someone out there that can show you something new. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.